See, enjoying himself. Come in, come in. Put your name. Nay, leave him. Come and sit here. It's serious time before you you can relax before when we do this. Come in, everybody. I greet all of you this afternoon. Came back from work an hour ago. I greet all of you. We greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We pray you are having a blessed afternoon. Today is a special day for me. It is a sad day because of the funeral going on in Zambia about my dad's brother. But it's also a happy day because my firstborn, the first the first blessing and inheritance that the Lord entrusted me with, he's finished now with basic school, he's going to high school. So for me, I believe life is spiritual and it, it's important to bring it before God. Before you report them to any college, any other thing, you bring it before God. He's becoming a man now. So I just wanted to show some mothers, maybe sometimes we feel insecure. How can I be part of my son's growth, achievement and blessing? It is through prayer. Me, I pray over my children. I pray for them. So we are just going to surrender him now to God that as he goes to high school, may the will, the purpose, the knowledge, and the wisdom of God be upon him and in him that when he goes to high school, he shall not change his character and personality, but shall only be better as a man and as a human being, not just for our family, but for the whole entire society. So we are going to surrender my pastor. Apostle, come sit. Go sit. Withholding nothing. I'm withholding nothing. Oh, I surrender this child to you. Papa. Papa. The very son. You gave to me withholding nothing. Dear God, I am so thankful and grateful to you. I am so honored and blessed. Yes, Apostle. Yeah. Come here, come. Take his iPad before we start. Give him his iPad to write. Come and write Jesus here. Come and be writing what we are doing. Come here. Come and sit here. Take your iPad. I want you to be writing every verse that I, I'm going to speak out. So you can give him yours. So they can see. It's good to cliff him. Just something to keep him because he notices now that your dad is gone. He will not just sit with us. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, give me a minute. Let me make sure that they are post man. Why is the flashlight on? Jesus name please I'm already sleep here let's continue brothers and sisters we have to close our eyes and be serious from Hannah you gave our son I said from Hannah Jesus you gave our son and you called him by your own will and grace down all the way to Sarah you gave her a son and you called him your own now it's my turn Jesus you've given me a son with your own will, purpose, and plan. And now I surrender 
And now I surrender. Come on, that's it. And now I surrender. The God of Abraham who is able, gracious and capable. I am testifying to your grace and mercy. This is why I'm before your presence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name in their lives. Dear Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory and the honor. I praise you and I worship you. I magnify you and I lift you. Lord, I honor you and I thank you, Jesus, for who you are and for all you do. Today, I come before your presence to give you all the honor and the glory. Because the truth is what you know. Sometimes, I feel insecure and incompetent and not good enough as a mother. And I question myself. But on days like this, I come to celebrate because even when doubt tries to overwhelm me, even when sometimes I feel like it's unfair that I'm so far away from my brothers and sisters that they could help me to raise my children the same way I help them to raise theirs, I thank you, Holy Spirit of God, that you help me. You help me to raise my children. God, the very first son you gave me out of my womb, is leaving basic school, is going to high school. I am so grateful for this achievement and milestone. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your goodness and your kindness, your preservation upon David. How he's so bright and intelligent because even him himself, he will know later on that I have never been the bright one when it comes to education. So I was worried for them, God of Shadrach. I was worried for all my sons. And I'm so grateful to you that you have imparted your, your wisdom, your knowledge and your grace in them, God. That you give them this much knowledge and wisdom. That you help them even with the language barrier kid, that I do not come from the Dutch background from birth. I give you the glory and the honor, Father, that even when their mother spoke English, the society they are born in expects them to speak their language. God of Shadrach, I give you the honor. I give you the praise. You have given me a push in the development and the growth of my children. You have kept me far away from the hospital. Even when I complain about little things, the greatest things that I love the most. I am here to show my gratitude to you, my Lord and King. Father, I surrender this child and I pray that King of all kings, you shall remember this prayer that even if I will not be alive today, God, I cover my firstborn. I cover this son that you gave me and you called him David. You knew him in, before he was even in my womb. You kept him for me, Lord. With everything that we went through in his pregnancy, Jehovah Jireh, you gave me a wonderful son. I want to thank you for the heart that he has. This boy is so gentle, Lord. He's so kind. He's so patient. He's so loving, just like his father. He's caring for other people. And I know that wherever my son goes in a room, he does not get attracted to the loud children. He gets attracted to the ones that are vulnerable. The ones that are not liked, that are not so popular. I thank you for the love of God in him. The way I see him around children, God. He's amazing. The way he has helped me as a mother, as a firstborn of this family, as the first son. He has imparted so much love in his brother, Peter, that from Peter, the love is going to John. There is so much love in my home, God. The love that I had in Kaunda Square Stage 1, Lusaka, Zambia, is the love that my children have amongst one another. That's why sometimes it hurts me because I know my family would love to know them. I 
thank you, God of Abraham, that they get along, they love each other. It's not because it was meant to be like that. It is what you have imparted, God of Shadrach, and it comes all the way from you to their father, that the first thing their father gave me, Lord, he did not give me himself. He said, I am not good enough. He gave me a Bible, and he said, if you can love me in my imperfection, and I will love you as I love Jesus. And he has kept his word. Father, I miss my family so they could see how much I'm loved and what you have given me. I thank you. I thank you that today we are here. And I'm here to report to you, my king, that he did well. He passed so well. He made me so proud. My little boy is becoming a man a great nation for your kingdom and your glory. I surrender David to you, mind, body, soul, and spirit. I ask that God of Shadrach, you take full total control, take charge over my son. Even as he steps in that school, I bind every evil spirit that has been sent from the pit of hell to come and destroy or distract his destiny. Holy Spirit of God, go before my sons and let your word speak for them, Jesus. Let your truth speak speak for them. Where there is darkness, shine, Lord. Let you, God, be their light. Father, I cover my son. He shall not go and look for trouble there. He will respect the teachers and he will show love to everybody that's around him. I cover this boy that I, that send him out here for school. I am sending him with the blood of Jesus Christ, with the fear of God the will and the purpose of God. Father, take full total control over my children. Take full total control over their lives. I dedicate this boy to you, Jehovah Jireh. You are the one who gave me. I do not lay hands on people. I lay hands on my own. That's what you have given me. That's what I love the most. I lay my hands, the love of Jesus, the word of God, the peace, the joy of God, that's what God has given me. I lay it, I lay it upon him. I lay your will, I lay your purpose and your plan. Even if he picks a job that I will not love or like in the future, I lay your purpose and your will. Let your will and your purpose be done upon this boy. I am just his mother. You are his God, his Savior, and his Lord. You know his beginning and ending. You know his destiny his job and his future. You even know his wife and his children. Abba Father El Shaddai, I surrender this boy to you. I surrender all my sons to you. I surrender his mind to you. Father, I pray that he will shine even where he's going. He will outshine, Lord, Father my God, the expectations of what has been put before him. He will will exceed abundantly. He will exceed mentally, physically, emotionally, Emotionally, financially, and spiritually. Father, I cover this boy in the blood of Jesus Christ. I ask for your will and your purpose to be done. Let your love surround this boy. Speak for this boy, for the woman that prays you on the street in Europe here that they come out for. Speak for this boy, God of Shadrach. Let him be the light to show love and kindness to other people's children. Let him be patient, Father my God. Let him be that boy that is going to be at school as an angel or a vessel at the temple of God. He's there for more than just school, Father my God. He's there to show the love of Jesus Christ that was put in him. He's there to open doors that cannot be closed, Father my God, because in you, Father my God, you operate through him in Jesus' mighty name. God, I give you all the glory. You have been faithful to me. You have been great and you have been awesome. You have been kind and you have been loving. My support, my helper, the one who goes before me, the one who covers me, protects me, shields me, deliver me, heals me, and stands before me. Today is a blessed day. 
I celebrate the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Some children did not even make it to go to high school. They have to go and redo the school again. I thank you, Jehovah Jireh. You said he shall not cross a bridge twice or more than or, or four times. He shall only cross it once because at the cross, at the Calvary, you took over everything and you paved way for this boy. No matter how he's half percent of black, his blackness shall not be black. It shall be the anointing and the glory of God upon him. He shall not be discriminated and he shall not be kept away from from opportunities and every room they close opportunities for him Jehovah Jireh as I rob him in your Holy Ghost fire in your presence and your spirit I decree and declare Lord that when they hide opportunities from him you shall open even more greater doors that thing where we say whatever the enemy meant for evil it shall be used for good my children every weapon that is fashioned against them shall not prosper I refruit and come against every evil tongue that will speak upon them from every teacher to every learner anybody that speaketh that is not of God right now as he leaves this old school I cancel everything that was spoken over my son Lord from every mouth and tongue that is not having any right I give all the power the authority over these children over this boy only to you Jehovah Jireh and he will not be having any relations with women I cancel it just like you knew it was the right time for Abraham to go and look for a wife you shall be the commander chief and lord over my sons you shall tell this boy when he become a man where to start looking at women I cover his mind to be filled with the love of Jesus Christ to look at every woman as a sister in Christ and every man as a brother in Christ to be there to show love for one another. I refruit every evil, wicked thought of the devil to bring any frustration or destruction. I cancel any pregnancies. I can I cancel anything of teen pregnancies. Anybody trying to set my son up for trouble. Jezebel spirit, I bind you. I rebuke you. I reject you. Witchcraft spirit, I bind you. I reject you. Marine kingdom, voodoo spirits, nyaga 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 younger spirits, Babalao spirits, I cancel all of you. I give all the authority, the power over this boy to you, Jesus Christ. Lord, have your way. Go before David in high school. Go before him in college, just like you have gone before him in basic school. Jehovah Nisi, I thank you. The little boy that I took to school the first time when he was he was almost two years old to the Peter Spelza. And I watched that grow when he was four years old. He went to school. And I saw him graduate and cross to go to basic school. And now Jehovah Rapha, I'm celebrating because he's going to high school. It just lets me know my God is faithful. No matter what attacks and warfares that will try to come up against me. The keeper of my peace who has given me these children, has already done everything that needs to be done. Lord, I bless you. I worship you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise, Lord. I do what maybe my parents did not do for me. I cannot give these children anything that is more greater than you. So I give them greatness. I give them the life of Jesus Christ. I give them the blood of Jesus Christ and the word of God that I live by, abide and obey every day, even in my perfection, trying to reach that greatness of perfection according to your will, your grace and your word. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, the God of Shadrach who is able. They said I would not be able to be a mother. They said that I could not do it. They said that I will fail. God of Shadrach, I thank you for being in the start and you're going to be with me to the end and everything in between. Lord, I bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Jesus Christ, mind, body, soul, and spirit. 
spirit. It shall be well with you. You shall do well. Now you'll be the seed that is going to lift my whole family in Zambia. You will go back and do well for, for, my, for my brothers and sisters, your aunties and uncles. You will get all that you need to get here in Europe and go back in Africa and build greatness for the ones that even need it more. In Jesus' name. brothers and sisters. Vanakamba sinza kwanisa Kuma Yesu wanani tandisa Sivana une movili voze Kuma Yesu wanani tenga you forgot me Jesus when I looked at my children I never had no hope but Jehovah Jireh you came true for me but Jehovah Jireh You favored me When they were laughing at me I almost killed myself I really wanted to die I thought Jesus you've been leaving me alone From the day I was born but my whole life is a testimony of how God can carry you. No weapon could break me, not now. Oh, God, God, now. You are the only man who saw beyond my brokenness. I bless your name. There were moments I asked you why you give someone like my children. Now when I wake up every day, 
They say, God, I wish you'd have given me more. These children you have given me, they bring so much happiness in my life. I will work hard and I will do anything for these boys. They say, go to hell, go for it. I'm grateful. Brothers and sisters, sorry I cannot read the comments. I'm not trying to be rude. Facebook is doing something funny again. My boy, come and stop the music. Hello, Apostle, come and say hi. Come and say hi to the people. Mama? Yeah. Did you see Apostle praying and crying with us? Did you see Apostle on his knees crying in spirit like that? Not crying. At first he was crying for your father, but he went on his knees. Maki I fiada. No, it is not fiada because you came from school. This thing of sharing gift at school when it's your birthday. Me, I don't like it because the devil is very smart. Not everybody you go to school to you want to eat from the house. Then the enemy is very smart. Sometimes this thing I was telling Sister Karen. With our children, this thing that when your child has a birthday, people, they don't talk to each other. They don't play with one another. They sit together. They are, they are not allowed to share food together when they're in class, normal days. But when it's the birthday, it's an exceptional day that you can share food. And I believe as much as we have children of born again believers who go to school, we also have children of marine kingdom, warlocks, wizards, nyangas, who do their going there. And they are very smart. When they are cooking, they are sorcering meat and things that they are putting in wicked spells and charms. They like it. They are sending it to school to other people's children. And those other people's children are being initiated from such a young age. And that's why some parents, we are dealing with problems and issues. Demons and spiritual familiar spirits that have never existed in our family. You are surprised that... It start to develop in your family. How it came through your child and in your child, you do not know. Those things. The devil. So we need to pray over everything, especially when they are coming out of our own homes. Because let me tell you, the enemy comes as an angel of light. That's how we disguise. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Wait. I don't understand why Facebook don't allow me to be reading the comments so that I can at least say hi to somebody. Anyway, my sisters and brothers... I was not staying long. This is what I came to do. I just wanted to bless my son. And the reason why I wanted to do something like this is because he's going to high school now. It's where boys become men. It's where women, girls, if they like a boy, they want to trap him for pregnancy. Girls are very smart. It's not a boy who make the girl pregnant. Girls get pregnant when they want. I'm not blaming them, but woman is smarter than man as much as man don't want to accept that's why I wanted to carry him and put him in the hands of the Lord like that. And I pray the Lord will, the Lord will cover him for me. I'll be doing it for every one of them. It might be different, but I stand on the word of God and I cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. You understand? So my brothers and sisters, have a blessed day. Let me go, go now. Let me go and change Apostle's diaper. I came back from school. It's afternoon here. Forgive my cleaning of the nose. You know, the anointing. They say they be like running from the beard of the hair of Aaron down to the beard. So when he's running down, you feel it's running. It's also, you know, the beard is close to the nose. As women, that's our beard. And if you're a woman, you have small, small baby, the Lord love you. He gave me three sons. That was the sign that I'm going to raise man. I didn't need to wask or put makeup because the Lord gave me extra. I'm not even ashamed, my sisters. Actually, Lord, I understand you. After praying for firstborn like this, the Lord wanted me to fit the description. Mother of three, maybe even Hannah and Sarah, they all had baby like me. Praise the Lord. Hello, you know, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot live without loving or rejoicing because the joy of the Lord is my strength. May God bless all of you, my brothers and sisters. I'll see all of you by the will and the grace of God. And let's all be dedicating and surrendering our children. Every milestone, we should thank the Lord. It's not what we did. It's not our parenting skills. It is the mercy and the grace of God. And we shouldn't look down on other people because there are some people who have got difficulties with their children that it takes them 10, 7 years to do one class. And that's not a joke.
because the devil is a liar. That's why when we have grace, don't take advantage of the grace and don't think you're too favorable. Be humble, grateful, and thankful to God. And some of us who complain about money, the Lord has favored us in ways that money cannot even compare. He gives you intelligent children. If you knew what you have, you know that your money is already said. You're a rich woman, you, because if he gives you children with knowledge and wisdom, oh, my sisters who fear him with obedience, hey, you are blessed. If he gives you daughters that are standing in Jesus and they are, they are for Jesus, sister, you know it. Every garden, has to be cleaned up very well. And then before you even put the seed down to plant, you have to prepare everything, cultivate. It takes a process, the same thing. So my brothers and sisters, let's be grateful and thankful to God for these children that we have. It's only him and for the achievement and milestones they reach. It's not by our own might, nor our own power, nor grace. And we shouldn't look down. Oh, my sister's child did not cross, but that one crossed. This no... God has got time for all our children. And that's why those of us who are having difficulties actually with our children, we should thank God because it means that the, the hand of the Lord is still fighting for that child. Because if you look in the Bible, all the children that were troubled, God turned their stories and destinies to greatness. The same thing with even adults. He changes people's lives. Three skisted degree like nobody's business. In fact, not three skisted degree. Anointed Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, fire, degree, change everything like that. So we keep paving the, the way of Christ for them and giving them the word. And don't give up and don't look down on them. And even if they don't pass this exam, sister, if the child has to redo class, don't be ashamed. Take that child. Tell him that you love him. Because education is what we want them to have so that they can be able to have hands work, that they can provide food for themselves. But it's not grace. So don't bring the child down. Not saying that education is not important, but it's not salvation. It's not more important than the, the word of the living God. So when they fail, don't even look down on that child. If the child did not cross this season, he will cross the season the Lord has allowed. He has left him behind for something greater. So you have to always look at it on both sides and thank the Lord. And don't talk down to the child. Oh, you didn't pass this and that. Don't do that. My sister doesn't help you. Calling them failure, dumb, useless, you don't work. The same way I prayed for the one who passed and qualified to go to war. Because you know how it is in Africa also, we do grade 1 up to grade 7. You have to pass grade 7 to enter grade 8. Me, I never passed grade 8 for money. When you pass money in African and in education of this world and how life has been created, it means that you are intelligent. Me, I went to afternoon class. Afternoon was those people that got ma marks but lower than the official mark that the government gave. If you pass that mark, you go morning, you have passed. If you didn't pass the mark, you are lower or below. You didn't, you didn't fail, but you're qualified to go to the next grade, except the grade, the class that they make for you people is the one where they would say slow heads. And I, I, I'm the one who come from the type where they, they call us slow heads and the teachers, they would tell us if you were, you were good in your head, you would be coming here in the morning ugly teachers with ugly faces and ugly dresses, in fact, ugly shoes. In fact, teachers, you don't dress well. well I'm not insulting all teachers, but to all the teachers that the devil used to kill other people's children's self-motivation. May the Lord punish you because the Lord is the one who has destiny of somebody, not education. You could be educated and still be a nobody. It's the Lord who make you a somebody. Hello. So to those of you, even if he didn't clarify, carry him like this. The prayer for you is that, God, I thank you. He didn't pass this year. He will pass next year. And I thank you for your will and your purpose. Because if it was not your will, you would have passed. But it is your will. Because there is nothing that happens that is man's will. But it's the Lord's will. Hello. And of course, if the child did not get it right the first time, it means he just has to study. She, she or he has to study extra. But parents don't sit down there talking them this and that. And teachers... I beg you, if you are a teacher, when you are speaking to the children, especially African teachers, I want to tell you this. When you are speaking to people's children, remember that teacher, you are just a teacher. You impart education, respect. Don't call these children dumb or slow. 
Don't call our children anything. Even when they did not qualify or pass in your term of education of this life, the grace for the people who passed and the grace for the people who did not qualify is still the same. That's why in the Bible, is it in Romans or Luke, it says that some did not come from the lineage where they deserve to be there. The Lord said, who? Oh, all of you came from a lineage who did not deserve. If not for Jesus, none of us deserve grace. None of us would have had missed. So there's nobody above anybody. Let's just behave. So my brothers and sisters, somebody may be bad with school. Me, I was bad with school and I'm still bad with school and I'm going to go back to school now because I want to develop myself even a little bit more so that I can get inside the big hospitals in future. But I was never really the type that was really good at school. But God is so great. I had a skill. Mama. I made more solid than people that had a banking degree. So God is great. Those of you who say this child, somebody might be bad with school. But once they finish school and they get a job, even greaterness comes out of them. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm also asking parents, don't force your children, especially me is going to high school. Those ones that you force to go to college, college is not for everybody. Some have been given the root by God. With the gift that I have, no college could ever do this gift. Not, there's no teacher on the earth that could have taken where, where. Which teacher would have taught me this music? First, the timing. Even me, myself, the timing. I say it is God. No teacher could have taught that gift. So there are some people who have gifts. I just want to encourage you mothers with daughters that have gone to college. She might have even started the college and she's halfway. She said, Mama, this is not for me. Learn to listen to them. Your own life, your own route. Her own life, her own route. You are the chance and your mama gave you a chance to go in and out, fall down and pick yourself up. And you became a mother and you are raising somebody wonderful. If you came out all right and you are even having one that is even going to college, they said they don't want to finish it. Don't look down on them. You already did something right. Trust them and trust the Lord the most. And if they make mistakes, it's their own life. You need. It's not your life. They cannot live through you and you cannot live through them. Therefore, the Lord, even me, I can say what I want. I'm telling you the truth. I can even shake, shake here. If I want, I can grugu, grugu. At the end of the day, it is the God of Abraham who determines and allows. Me, I am just, I'm just a helper to chaperone them in the right way. In fact, my job is to give them the love of Jesus Christ and the word of God. The Lord will do the rest. Just like my mama and papa could not choose who I was. And that's why my mother and father would have saved their money a lot if they have listened to me and allowed me to take this talent in a different way at the right time. But at the end of the day, my mama and papa enjoyed from this talent. The same talent that my papa did not want was chasing musicians like Bob Mabegi out of my neighborhood because he did not like men around his daughter and because he did not like musicians because he said they dress naked. He doesn't want spirit of prostitution in his house. My papa chased anybody and he don't have English manners. He got this crazy and he didn't like this talent, not even one. But I'm telling you, the same talent, before it even started to praise the Lord, the same gift that the Lord put in his daughter, the Lord allowed him to just enjoy the same gift, buy him house, same gift, build him house, well, well. The same gift that he didn't want, he was chasing. And now when he looked, my papa, he said, Lord, that I praise the Lord and worship the Lord. He said, when he buy talk time, he download my video. When he chilling by himself, he uses that to praise and worship the Lord and he reading the Bible. The same gift he didn't like. So mothers, fathers, fear God and listen to Jesus. That's so. And when people are given gifts from God, I'm telling you the gifts that are given from God are greater than even any diploma or education you could ever get out here. In, in university or in the world. Because there is something about what God has given us as gifts. That's why as musicians, when they meet you and they see that you have been given the gift, not them went to school or forced their self to learn, but you have the gift, you never practice, you don't even use a mass, or you is just play music, you do your gift. You is just give a machine, she need. If my sister, if you have that gift, Begin to use it and thank the God of Abraham because he did not sting your children, nothing. He still blessed all of us. We are all favored, loved, blessed, and gifted. May God bless all of you. Have a blessed day. I'll see you by the way and the grace of God. Let me get ready. Tonight, my son is the last day at his busy school. So, Sister Sharon.
Sister Beva, I'm getting ready. I'm going to wear my African mama dress because I want them to know that an African man, he be one side. I'm going to watch the music or they're having a music at school. So I'm going to be there to go and watch the music. You know how it is. I'm going to be watching. Yes, we are going as a whole family unit and there will be a storm. Apostle Kefman. Kla. Good. Thank you, Vel. And there will be a storm coming in the night in Holland. They are predicting a very heavy storm. So I'm grateful and thankful to God that tonight Papa Rokafela, me and his brothers can go there and watch him. Just his final day at school, my sisters. Very soon, it will be 20 years from now, they'll be bringing me woman. Mom, this is the woman I want to settle down with. Can you bless us in the name of Jesus? Oh! Father, please, by your will and your grace, give me plenty, 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 plenty grandchildren. Because you know me, I have the energy and I will have the energy by your will and your grace to just tire those children. In fact, I am a children myself. I am a children. I am a children myself. This is why when they give you these things from school and you even want, you claim because it came from somebody's part. The Dutch in you said, this one is my own. It didn't come from your money. But you still can't eat with the whole night. Go for bed. Anyway, brothers and sisters, let me go and get ready. Love all of you and God bless all of you. Shalom. Bye-bye. Bless my son. Oh, I am rejoicing. Rejoice with me. Oh, my little man is becoming a, a man. My, my little boy is becoming a big man. Let me carry the go. Bye-bye.